Hi, it's Cammy. Charlie talks football. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. So, I'm finally back. I've just finished my GCSE exams today, so finally I'm free for the summer. So, I'm going to be posting a lot of content, a lot of ideas are coming up for this summer. So, I can't wait, guys. But anyway, let's get into the video now. As you know, um, Fabrizio Romano has reported that Newcastle have agreed personal terms with James Trafford. Now it is up to Newcastle to um, negotiate the fee with Burnley. Now it's believed the first offer of um, 15 million I think got turned down and it appears that we'll try again with a bit of 20 million which I think should get him because that's you know his relegation release calls but what are you guys' thoughts on James Trafford because I think this is actually a sensible signing because since it's only 20 million it will allow Newcastle to to, to look elsewhere for different targets such as a potential uh, right winger um, but I think this will happen I don't think the will be anything that will stop this from happening. Trafford, of course, has done well in the Euros, but I think I've seen some people critical of this signing, but I think, of course, um, it's a bit harsh to blame Trafford for Burnley getting relegated because they were expected to to be relegated so I wouldn't necessarily say it was Trafford's fault um, that that happened but be very interested to see how that'll, that'll progress looks like Newcastle will hopefully get that deal done by this week and also with Lloyd Kelly it has been confirmed by Romano that Lloyd Kelly is going to do his medical at Newcastle so he will definitely become a Newcastle player like I've probably mentioned now a lot of times on my channel but this is going to be a good sign in a player who Eddie Howe knows well. He can play in um, a couple of different positions as well. Fantastic for squad depth considering the amount of injuries Newcastle have had this season. So two signings that Newcastle are closing in on. Very, very exciting. Now another potential third signing that Newcastle are looking at is Nico Williams, the winger from Atletico Bilbao. Now he has a release clause of £50 million. He's very fast, of course. He's in the Spain squad for the Euros. Young, exactly what Newcastle need. But I think... I don't think this will happen and I think the reason why is because the player seems to, you know, not be in a rush to leave Atletico Bilbao. It seems like he would prefer to stay in La Liga and go to Barcelona if they came in. So I don't think this is going to happen. It looks like Newcastle are also considering Morgan Gibbs-White, which I think is a very likely option from Nottingham Forest because, of course, he fits Eddie Howe's style of play really, really well. Um, he presses, he's got that Premier League proven experience. So I think Morgan Gibbs White is more likely to happen um, than um, and Nico Williams. So it's very interesting because, of course, now that this transfer window is pretty much almost open now, we're going to hear a lot of rumours. So it looks hopefully Newcastle can close in closing on them two deals Lloyd Kelly one's done and James Trafford um, looks like it's going to be completed now talking about um, players coming in now I want to talk about players going out because it has been reported by many sources that Miggy Almiron is expected to leave Newcastle and Newcastle are open to selling him because of financial fair play now of course, I really like Miggy as a, as a player and as a person. He works really hard for the team, so it would be a shame to let him go. But because of financial fair pay, we're going to have to if we want to bring in a lot more players into the squad. So it'll be interesting to see where Miggy's going to go. I think the most likely option is probably the Saudi, the Saudi Pro League. So hopefully we can get a bit of money for him. But yeah, it's, it's, it'll be a shame if he goes. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on all this information? Lloyd Kelly medical being done. Hopefully the James Trafford deal can get completed this week. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's a very smart signing from Newcastle because, you know, we're not spending much money on a goalkeeper. And talking about goalkeepers now, Martin Dubravka, apparently Celtic are interested in him, which would make sense because that's why Newcastle are trying to go for James Trafford as our backup goalkeeper a Pope because of course Carius is definitely leaving and it looks like Dubravka could leave 
could be leaving as well so what are your thoughts on all this information guys make sure to hit that subscribe button there's going to be way more content coming up on the channel throughout the summer updating you with the most regular um newcastle united news i can so anyway guys what are your thoughts it's looking a lot more positive for newcastle now and um, despite us not getting european football it's starting to look a lot more positive and i'm very excited about the future of newcastle united so anyway guys thanks for the support as always and i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye